Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm going to show a newbie how to do the interior of his vehicle. So how to detail all the bits, the parts, the pieces to refresh it, to enhance it, and of course to make it clean and protect it. And for the occasion, I have my brother as a special guest. You guys have requested to see him again. So he's holding the camera right now, but he'll be doing the work. So a uh, indicator that anybody can do this if you have the right tips, the tricks, and of course all the products. So I'll be going through through the uh, products and materials and tools that we'll be using. And by the way, all the links to these items will be included in the description under this video for you guys to check them out. But for today, we're doing or detailing the vehicle of my brother. So uh, we did the exterior a few weeks ago. He managed to keep it relatively clean. And now we're gonna be doing the interior today. So from uh, the uh, sort of suede Alcantara inserts to the leather, to the carpets, to glass, all the plastic rubber trim, the dash, the console, and so on and so forth, you guys are in for a treat. So you know the drill without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pat and welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day, so let's dig right into it. But before we go ahead and do so, if you're new to my channel and you wanna learn everything about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So today I'm showing my brother how a newbie or a beginner in the car detailing world can tackle his interior, right? So we're gonna clean, enhance, and protect the surfaces. And to do so, we have a bunch of products. Again, all the links will be included in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So we have a floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator for the rubber mats by McKees 37. Next, we'll be having a carpet and upholstery cleaner from Malco. We have two products from Turtle Wax, the Hybrid Solutions Mist Interior Detailer for the hard surfaces, so to clean and to protect, has UV protection built in, and also the uh, Leather Mist, which cleans conditions and protects, also adds UV protection. I reviewed these on my channel recently, by the way, if you want to see a separate video. Uh, for any fabric and carpets and upholstery, we're going to be using the 303 Fabric Guard, so a water repellent to help against liquid spills and make the cleanups easier. We're going to have stoner invisible glass, of course, to clean the glass, ammonia free, so safe on tinted windows, uh, an air freshener from Chemical Guys, this is the honeydew for the interior, and a bunch of tools. Uh, like this stoner invisible glass uh, reach tool so it pivots and it's easier to access for the corners of the windshield if my brother needs that. Uh, we have Detail Factory soft brushes to not scratch the interior. We have a scrub brush from uh, Scrub Ninja. We have a drill brush attachment for the uh, floor mats that is super easy to use and this little brush here to go in between the cracks in the air vents and also come with me he'll be using a few uh, bits of equipment that, uh, well, are important to do a good job as well. So he'll have access to a, a portable vac. So this is my rigid vac, uh, 5P horsepower. It's basically good for uh, liquids and uh, dry stuff as well. So dry and wet. And also a, a McCulloch steam cleaner to steam clean the interior. So what we start with uh, in this job today is going to be to clean the uh, rubber mats. So uh, if you have mats, I like to start with those at the beginning because uh, when you're done cleaning them, even if they're carpeted mats, you want to let them dry right. So we're going to start with these and then move on to the cabin. So I'm going to hand off the work to my brother and uh, let's see how we'll do, right? All right, guys. So my brother Andy is back for another detail. Hey, Andy. Hey, everyone. I know, uh, you know all my uh, viewers, they actually love you a lot. There's always some good comments for you, so I'm happy. Uh, okay, so we removed the uh, floor mats. They look appropriately disgusting. <laughs> so they've been through the uh, Canadian winter, obviously. So now he's going to be taking care of them. So if you have any rubber mats, the same applies. Uh, for carpeted mats, it's going to actually be almost the same procedure as well. So Andy, what you're going to do is first start by vacuuming the uh, dirt and grime that's loose. Then we're gonna rinse the floor mats. You're gonna be using, after that, a chemical that is a floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator. You're gonna use the drill brush attachment to agitate all of that. We're gonna rinse again, and then you can let them air dry, or you can use a car dryer if you wanna accelerate the process. So go ahead, Andy, start doing the job. So 
So for this product, you're going to spray generously on the surface and you let it dwell for roughly 30 seconds. So you can use the drill brush. You're going to wait a few seconds for the product to act or Andy, show them the other brush if they don't have the drill brush attachment. You can use a stiff bristle brush just like that to do the job. But the drill brush just allows you to get into the nooks and crannies. So go ahead. Wow, great result already. All right, and now you're gonna grab the car dryer just to speed things up a bit. So we'll grab that top hose, there you go, that's all you need. Put the uh, two switches to full speed. All right, guys, so next we're going to be dusting the interior to remove any uh, loose dirt, debris, and of course, dust before we vacuum. And we work from top to bottom. So Andy will be using a uh, detailing brush, a soft brush, and also the vacuum, because you want to vacuum the dust and dirt towards the, uh, the vacuum, of course. So go ahead, Andy. Okay, Andy, so next, now that we dusted the interior, we're gonna go ahead and do the vacuuming. So for the carpets, we're gonna first start by vacuuming, of course, the loose dirt and debris. And then we're gonna spray a carpet and upholstery cleaner. You're gonna agitate with the drill brush attachment. You can use uh, any carpet or upholstery brush if you guys don't have the drill brush attachment. And then we're gonna mop up with a microfiber towel. So go ahead, Andy, let's start with a vacuum. All right, Andy, so, so far, so good. Yes, now indeed. what we're gonna do is use the uh, interior detailer. So it's a misting product that's gonna lightly clean. It's going to enhance. It's even gonna deodorize your interior surfaces and add UV protection. So you're gonna shake the bottle well, exactly. You're gonna have a microfiber towel, one for the uh, wet wipe, and then for the buff with the uh, clean and dry side. So go ahead. By the way, guys, you can spray this on all your interior surfaces, including your plastics, your rubber, even fabric. And even if it goes on glass, it's fine because you can clean glass with this as well. Infotainment screens, no problem. So as Andy is doing, you're uh, wiping right away. So what you want is a uniform finish. So he's going to do the uh, wet wipe, the initial wipe. He's going to flip the towel around after. Use the clean and dry side to lightly buff to perfection. So this leaves an OEM matte finish. So it's non-greasy, non-oily, perfect for light cleaning duties. So his interior was not too dirty. I'm proud of him. At least he takes care of his interior. 
but today he's using the proper tools, the proper products, the proper equipment. So now he flipped the towel to a clean and dry side. And now he's basically buffing the surfaces to make sure streak free finish. And it smells good, eh? Has Amazing this uh, finish. Yeah, light, fresh smells smell. Smells great, yeah. And it gives that, uh, again, OEM matte appearance. So non-greasy, non-oily, which is what we want in a vehicle. And you do have that feeling that it, it, it does deodorize. So that's, that's cool as well. So perfect to pick up any dust, any smudges, any fingerprints, of course, from the infotainment screens, right? All the vehicles nowadays have infotainment displays. So it's safe for all of that. Pick up the light dirt and grime. And just leave the cabin not only feeling and looking fresh, but also smelling fresh. Once again, I love that OEM finish, which is awesome. No greasy residue. Yeah, this is a new product that uh, Turtle Wax came out with. I know you also liked uh, the Inner Space last time that we tried the uh, Lithium yeah. Auto Elixirs and also the Adams Interior Detailer. So they pretty much all do the same. So light and cleaning duties and of course enhancing. And this one also adds UV protection. You want to prevent against the fading and cracking effects of the sun's damaging UV rays, especially if it's daily driven like yours is. And especially for people who leave their vehicles outside all the time, you want to protect your surfaces. And we're doing all these duties now because even though you can clean the glass with this as well, we're going to use a dedicated glass cleaner towards the end. So that's why uh, I like to keep the glass cleaning duties for the end end because then you're done with everything else and you won't smear or dirty your glass once you're done cleaning it, right? So always work efficiently. And like you would for the outside, try to work from the top surfaces and work your way down. So same applies for the interior. That way you're more efficient and uh, you're not working harder because if you were to do the bottom first and then work your way up, you might take a bit of that dirt and put it back down. So always work top to bottom. A little trick for the steering wheel, Andy, when you're going to do it, you're going to take your microfiber and you're going to rub it like this all around. So you grab a hold of the steering wheel with the other arm for it not to move. Exactly. And that's the trick to remove the uh, dirt grime. Don't forget all the body oils that accumulate over time over your surfaces, especially the uh, touch points, guys. So your steering wheel, the shifter knob, the uh, door handles. So anywhere where you touch a lot of stuck, a lot of stuff, you want to be able to clean, sanitize if possible. All right, Andy. So now we're hey. going to take care of your leatherette. So the steps are good for leather seats, vinyl and leatherette or vegan leather as you want. Uh, we have a mist leather interior protector by Turtle Wax. So what you're going to do, Andy, you're going to shake the bottle. You're going to spray an even mist, a light mist, and then using a microfiber towel. What that does, it's going to lightly clean. Of course, it's going to enhance the surface, but it's also going to add UV protection to help against fading and cracking and all the stuff that leads the leather surfaces to deteriorate. So again, we work from top to bottom. So this too leaves a non-oily, non-greasy, non-slippery surface. So it gives you that uh, OEM appearance, that nice matte sheen. Because by the way, guys, clean leather is supposed to have a matte appearance. If it's too oily or greasy in appearance, that's because it's very dirty and soiled. So depending on the condition of your leather, of course, if it's super greasy and dirty, you might want to clean it first with a uh, more intense leather cleaner. Always use products that are appropriate for leather surfaces. But in Andy's case, this is a vehicle that's just over a year old now, and it's been good, well maintained, I'd say for the interior at least. And so light cleaning duties, just to basically enhance, protect. And it also has that deodorizing property of the uh, other product that you tested before. So I think you can smell that fresh smell. Yeah, I really do. And we can see that, yep, OEM, non-greasy finish. All right, Andy, so the next step, now that you uh, pretty much cleaned and uh, vacuumed the interior surfaces, now we're going to actually protect the uh, fabrics. So your uh, carpets and also the uh, center part of your seats with a fabric guard. So this protects against liquid spills and makes cleanups a lot easier. So shake the bottle well. So what you're gonna do now is a light mist on the surface 
and you're going to spread and work it in with a microfiber towel. So just lightly, that's going to help coat the fibers. And then you're going to let that dry. Same thing applies now for your carpet. So before we put back the uh, rubber floor mats, we're going to, of course, coat the fabrics and the carpets. That's it. And then you lightly work it in with the microfiber towel. So many companies make some. 3M has that. 303 has this fabric art that we're using now. You can pick whatever one you want or that's readily available to you, but essentially it's going to help to coat those fibers and make it repellent against liquid spills. All right, Andy, so far so good. So now yes. we're going to clean your glass. So to do so, we're going to use an ammonia-free quality glass cleaner that doesn't leave any streaks and you can use this in the sunlight and also a waffle weave microfiber towel. I prefer those to clean glass because they're more efficient for gliding and also a clean and reach tool that we're going to use for the windshield so just in a matter of seconds but first let's start with this side glass so you always shake your product well you're going to spray some on the glass for lubrication you're going to take your towel on one side do the box method exactly the outer edges first and you work your way in and then you flip your towel to a clean and dry side and then you dry it to a streak-free shine. Don't worry about the exterior for now. The vehicle is going to be washed at a later time outside. And by the way, when people ask, do you start with the interior or the exterior? That really depends on personal preference. I usually start with the exterior first because that's where you spend the most energy and work my way inside. But some people like starting with the inside and working their way to the outside. Now for the windshield, Andy. So you're going to have the clean and reach tool. You're going to prime your pad first. So that adds a bit of lubrication. You want it to glide. And this is basically so you can get into the nooks and crannies. So you can spray some on the windshield too. There you go. So we're going to have this vantage point to see the advantage of the clean and reach tool. Because what that does, it basically allows you to go into the corners and makes cleaning the uh, especially the inside part of the windshield a lot quicker and simpler so there you go you're going to start doing that initial clean with that tool and then you can finish off with your uh, microfiber towel to make sure you get that streak free finish so do a bit of gliding that's it andy you got it so again guys today was to prove that even a newbie or a beginner that is not a professional detailer can do these steps at home if you follow the, uh, the tips, the tricks, you have the proper tools and the equipment. Everybody can do a great job. And you're going to see the uh, finishing shots in just a few minutes here. But before that, we're going to go and apply an air freshener inside the cabin, but with a little trick so it can last a bit longer. Air fresheners have a tendency to not last very long except if you have the right trick, you can extend for a few days at least the smell inside the cabin. So there we go, we have clean streak free glass, Andy. Let's move on to the uh, final step. Okay, Andy, so before we go to the uh, final reveal steps, we're gonna use an air freshener, but a trick to make it last longer is you're gonna put your AC on, you're gonna put it in air recirculation mode, and then you're gonna put it full blast, there you go. All right, now go to the footwell and near the footwell, you're gonna spray some, and that's gonna go into the intake of the ducts. And that time, every time you start your car, you should get a fresh smell. So we're gonna let that run for a few minutes to get into the duct work while you spray the rest of the car. All right, guys, time to see the end the results. I think, uh, wow, images are worth a thousand words. Andy did an exceptional job. Everything looks nice and crisp and clean. We also know that it's protected too. So let's have a look here. The center console, all the buttons. There's no more dust, no more fingerprints, none of that stuff. Same for the infotainment, all the duct work. The center stack here has been done. The steering wheel feels nice and fresh. Beautiful ducts as well. 
The floor mats look absolutely amazing. That there, by the way, is not a stain. It's just wear and tear from the, uh, the foot being near the accelerator pedal. But we can tell the attention, the details. This looks better than you now because it's not only clean, but it's also protected, right? So let's have a look in the back as well. So you guys can do this too. Look at this. Great job, guys. What do you think? Did Andy do a fantastic job? Let us know. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let's have a look here at the rear. By the way, we're going to have another video that we'll be doing together on how to organize your vehicle. So where you put stuff, what's some of the gear and equipment that you might need. Some is for safety, some is for practicality. So stay tuned for that on the channel. So absolutely, yep. This is exactly what we want. So we're gonna uh, tackle the exterior in a few minutes. You guys, if you wanna see how we protected the exterior, by the way, with the ceramic coating, you can watch that video that's already available on my channel. But hoo wee, does this look good. So guys, I think you'll agree, the results are outstanding. By the way, if you wanna see my brother Andy come in for a future video, let me know what kind of collaboration you guys would want me to do with them. Drop a comment in the comment section. Also, I remind you that all the uh, products, equipment and tools that I use today, I'm gonna to be dropping some links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. But basically what we used, we had a bunch of microfiber towels, we had a uh, floor mat, cargo liner and rejuvenator, we had a carpet cleaner, we had an interior detailer, we had a, a detailer cleaner and conditioner and protectant for the leather, we had a fabric guard, we had a glass cleaner, an air freshener, and a few tools like a glass tool, these uh, soft bristle brushes, these vent tools, scrub pads if you need some, a, a drill and drill brush attachment, and a few other brushes, including perhaps if you need an old toothbrush for the job. So uh, I think you'll agree that the steps weren't that complicated, just set a few hours to do this. So all in all, uh, including the filming, this took roughly two hours. So if you remove all the filming and editing, roughly an hour you should be able to do a pretty decent job. And uh, yeah, I think the uh, results once again are fantastic. Smash the thumbs up button if you wanna show me your support. Also, I'm wearing the Pandy Organizer Keep It Tight, Keep It Clean t-shirt. If you wanna check out my merch, I have a bunch of different logos, shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, a bunch of cool apparel, different colors as well. I'll draw links to my uh, Teespring merch store in the description under this video. If you haven't done so yet and you're new to my channel, if you want to continue to learn more about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.